Welcome to another episode of Quarantine to Uncorking. Uh, today we have the piggyback from uh, Whistle Pig. It's 100% rye whiskey aged six years. And I believe the alcohol content coming up in this guy is, is uh, 96.56 six. proof. They got very specific on that they one. They got very specific on this one. <laughs> so um, for those of you guys who like whiskey, uh, Whistle Pig's been around for a little bit. According to the bottle, it's been around from uh, 1956 to 2018 and continuing. Um I haven't had a ton of experience with Whistle Pig products. I have had a couple uh, drinks here and there at bars, and uh, from what I can remember, it, uh, it's uh, very well received. So, uh, But we have not tried this, and like I said, this is the piggyback 100% rye whiskey. And this one's aged for six years. I don't can't recall if you said that or not. I think I did, but we're fine. We're good. So... If you guys can see, looking at this bottle, um, the color on this, it's a very amberish kind of almost almond color. Um, so it doesn't look super dark, which leads me to believe that it's going to be fairly smooth. So It could be. Um, my opinion, just looking at it, um, and unlike our recent bourbons and whiskeys, this one is out of Vermont. So we're not looking at the Kentucky region at this point. That's true. Yep. So, yep. without further ado, yep, can we we'll taste? get this thing open. Now, uh, typically, most ryes are a little bit spicier. Um, you get uh, a lot more sweetness out of uh, predominantly, 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 predominantly corn. Words are difficult. Uh, so it's the cactus. There we go. <laughs> um, and ryes typically tend to be a little spicier, a little bit more uh, peppery. Uh, it's sometimes just a little bit harsher. So we'll see how this guy uh, rolls off the glass onto our tongue and uh, yeah. see how smooth she goes. Oh, let me just spin that guy around. Color-wise, it looks lighter out of the bottle than it did in the bottle. It's it does. Like, uh, it does look a lot, a lot lighter than it did in the bottle. I'd say almost like a corn. Yeah, yeah. Like a super it, light... It, it looks... A lot like a younger uh, whiskey or bourbon. At six years, I kind of expected it to be a little darker. Um, so, but with the six years, you're kind of looking for a little bit of that more oak note when you're uh, when you're tasting it. So, am I rambling? Am no. I rambling? <laughs> She's looking at me like I'm rambling. I'm sorry. No, I might have gotten a little close with the glass. Oh, you, you whiffed it. <laughs> one 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 little tip: um, if you're not used to you know, taking a nose off of a whiskey or whatnot, when you first pour it, that is a lot of fumes. Yeah. And if you lean right in there and give a good draw, Which I you're going to get real lightheaded real quick. No lightheadedness. I felt like it was on my nose almost. Oh, don't snort whiskey either. That's not, that's, that's, that burns. Cheers. Cheers, chin chin. Wow, you taste that rye. At least I'd hope so. It's 100% rye. But being that it's 100% rye, that thing oh, man. kind of s s slides right down. It does, but not. I get that burn like that. I'm not getting oh. much of a burn. Mine is you more in my still chest. Got, you still got the nose going. <laughs> it's running and everything. Classic no. drinking faux pas. But like an amateur over here, yeah, man. no kidding. There isn't, uh, even though she just took a big pull with her nose, uh, <laughs> there isn't a huge aroma to this. No, and uh, being 100% rye, you can really taste the grain. But uh, I really expected it to be a lot spicier, maybe a little bit more harsher on the tongue, being as 100% rye. Um, it's it almost feels quite a bit corny yeah um, i feel like a lot of like like chew on my tongue almost like it's very chew? like like it's thick thick yeah it's almost like it's stuck on my tongue 
And I don't, I have a fee. It's a little viscous. It's kind of, it, it, the viscosity. It, yeah. yeah, the vica- vis- viscosity. Viscosity. Mm-hmm. That's not yeah. the term that you want to use for this, honey. It's mm-hmm. okay. No. There's this like. It kind of sits, sticks it gets your tongue. tongue and stays there a little bit. Um, I can't put my, like, I can't put what I want to. Just, just for the record, I don't think it's bad. No. Um, it doesn't taste like a rye that I was no. expecting at all. Uh, it almost having, to me doesn't taste a lot like a rye. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this one. Um, if you can't tell. Uh, yeah, it seems like you've had you you you're having a rough time with this one since the nose incident. Um, but it doesn't this, almost even taste like it a whiskey to me. I'm gonna have to take another. That's taste, my hard. It, to, that's why I'm having a hard time, like even trying to explain what I taste. It's sweeter. Take. It's a lot sweeter to me than... I still have some, thank you. Yep. I, I looked. I looked like a good husband. It's a lot sweeter than any other rye I've ever had, which isn't a bad thing. No. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Like I said, it still isn't a bad thing. But it does It does look like, you know, if, you, if you're able to see that at all, it's a little thin on the color, which makes me feel like it's... It wasn't it's, aged it's, enough to me. Well, six years is still a good good amount of time. I'm just surprised in how little the barrel color is in there, and uh, I'm curious on the char level of this one. Actually, that's a good that's a good question. Because I mean, because does in, in, as as uh, whiskey ages, they put them in oak barrels, um, but there's different chars. And I believe it's like one through five or one through three different chars. Of how long they burn the inside of the barrel to get real, real dark or lighter or toasty or whatnot, and so I'm kind of thinking maybe this is a uh, like a, a oh, little bit lower. Oh, it's a small batch pot distilled. Pot distilled. It's pot still. It wasn't an oak barrel. So I mean, I, I like it. I, I, that 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 taste there. I get some of the some of the heat, some of the spiciness in the side of my tongue. But uh, yeah, as far as a rye, I mean, if you, I, I I honestly think if you're trying to get into rye whiskey and you're not used to it all that much, this I would, would I would go with this. Starter. This would be a good transition to if you're trying to get into bold uh, ryes. Um, I don't think it's bad at all. I just think it's completely different than I thought it was going to be for 100 percent rye. Yeah, I just taste a lot of corn. So, yeah. Thanks not for, horrible. Yeah, not not no, not horrible. I like it. It's just like I said, it's completely different than what I thought it was gonna be. So, Agreed. yeah. So, thanks for joining us again. And uh, if you guys want to get a little rye and get a little experimental, I I suggest the the, the piggyback. I yeah. I mean, if you're just getting your feet wet with rye, wouldn't be a bad starter, but not my top rye by any means, but. I don't know if I'd put it up there either as a top rye. It's a, it's different. It doesn't feel yeah. like it's following the rye rules. Well, hope you guys are staying safe and sane. We, we're doing our best. This is how we're getting through it. See you later. Cheers. Bye.